Hey, what's up guys? Nick White here. I do tech coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Check the description for all of my information. And uh, yeah, let's just uh, get into this problem. We are going to be doing number 459, repeated substring pattern. Uh, it is a pretty beginner problem. It's not too difficult. Uh, it's not the easiest problem, but it's decently easy. So given a non-empty string, check if it can be constructed by taking a substring of it and appending multiple copies of the substring together. So we're given a string, like some string, and we want to see if a part of that string, if we could take a part of it um, and just keep appending it and then get the full string. So you may assume the given string consists of lowercase English letters. Love when you get that in a problem. And uh, only, and its length will never exceed 10,000. Okay, so we have a string between 0 and 10,000 characters. Only lowercase English letters is nice because you don't have to deal with all the... It's just always nice getting that little bit of information in a problem because sometimes it gets annoying dealing with uppercase or extra characters. But this problem is pretty straightforward. So ABAB, we would return true because what we're looking for is we're given this string ABAB and we're looking for part of the string that we can repeat to get the full string. So the part is AB, if we just repeat that once, then we get, um, so if we just have AB twice, then we uh, get the full string. So this does have a substring that if you repeat multiple times, you get the full string. ABA is false because A repeated would be AAA, B repeated would be BBB, uh, AB is ABAB, uh, you know, there's nothing really, BA is BABA, there's nothing you can do here. ABC, 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 well, look at that, ABC, so you got ABC, 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 um, and oh yeah, it looks, you can do it twice too, ABC, 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 ABC. So we don't even have to worry about the number of times this happens or the different what characters it's happening with. We just, if it happens, we just return true. So it's really not that difficult. I mean, really, you kind of just want to grab a substring and test it out. So you just want to grab sizes of substrings. Um, and the fastest way to do this is probably going, like you could start at, you know, maybe one character and then be like, okay, if I repeat A this number of times, am I gonna get the full string? No? Okay, then I'll increase it to AB. If I repeat that, am I gonna get it? So you could do it from like zero to the, you know, halfway to the length of the string. And I'm saying halfway to the length of the string because any more than half, if you repeat that twice, it's not going to, it's gonna surpass the full length of the string. So it we're only dealing with from zero to half, well, actually from one character, cause you need at least one character, to the half of the length of the string. So, because if you go over half the length of the string, then it's, you're, if you repeat that, it's gonna be more than double the length of the string. It's never gonna equal the length of the actual string. So, we just have to kind of check that from one character to halfway to the string. Um, we can do it forward, we can do it backwards. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get the size of the string. So we could just say lane is equal to, uh, looks like we're taking s, s dot length. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll just loop. So you could do, I'm gonna just start going backwards to one. So I'm just gonna say uh, i is gonna be equal to length divided by two. i is uh, greater than or equal to one character and then i minus minus. Now, if the length is divisible by that uh, current number that we're looping through, so if it's divisible by length divided by two, if it's divisible by length divided by four, or whatever, every time we go backwards and we decrease the size to try and find um, a little substring, then um, we're gonna want to grab the number of times that we would have to repeat the little section that we're taking to get the full length. So, you know, we could just call this num times or num repeats or whatever you want to call it will be equal to length divided by n. So this checks that the length of the substring, which is going to be i, is going to be divisible by, the length will be divisible by it e evenly so that we can repeat it to get the full length. And then this will just get the number of repeats so that we can loop. Uh, we can extract this substring, so we could just say 
the substring will be equal to s dot substring from zero to i. So that's just the substring we'd currently be looking at to repeat the num repeats times. And then we'll make a string builder to repeat it that many number of times. So just the string builder class. Um, I don't know if I'm missing any covering anything. And then uh, j is equal to zero. You could just say j is equal to zero. j is less than num repeats. And uh, j plus plus, this is the number of times you want to repeat this substring you're getting. So we can just append this to the string builder. If you don't know what a string builder is, it's just a class to do string stuff in Java. So like appending the strings and stuff because it's not as simple as like Python or something. You have to use this class to do stuff like that. So this, if if this, um, if we append the substring that we found is evenly the size of it can be repeated to get to the length. Now all we have to do is check. Okay, if sb dot two string dot equals the original string, then we found. This means that we appended this subsection the exact amount of times, the size of it fits perfectly with the original string, and then we check now, is it equal, is the string equal to the original string? The yes, well that means that we repeated it a certain amount of times, we did exactly what we wanted, so we return true, because all we're worried about is the boolean. We do that for every value of i, so every length substring that is evenly divisible by the length of the original string, and uh, if we can't find a perfect match, we'll just return false, that's all we're worried about here. So that's uh, sb.toString. I called it string builder. Cannot find symbol sb.toString. Sorry, it's a parentheses in that method call. It turns the string builder to a string. So yeah, that's it. Um, I don't. I feel like I, maybe I'm missing something, but it's pretty basic. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't think so. So let me know if you uh, are having difficulty with this in the problem below. I went pretty slow here, um, you know, what I'm saying? Like basically we'd start, we'd say, okay, start at halfway from ABAB -A -B is four in length. So we'd look at size two and we'd say, okay, size two times two would be a repeat and that fits perfectly in size four. So let's look at a substring of size two. We look at AB, then we make a string builder. We append AB, AB. So we append it twice because num repeats, four divided by two is two. And then you just check if it's equal, and uh, ABAB is equal to the original string, and then yes. So, and then you could look at a case like this, and a case like this. It's going to work out. So, let me know if you guys have any questions. This is a pretty good beginner problem to, uh, you know, get into string problems, maybe, or just uh, learning and getting good with Lee code. So, let me know if you have questions. I'll try and answer them. Join the Discord. It's in the description. I love the Discord. A lot of people are in there now, and there's a lot of good perks about joining. So um, message me if you have questions. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.